good morning. It is September 16, 2020, and I'm here with one of my patients who we've become attached to each other. He's had actually three surgeries, right? Mm -hmm. So in your neck, your lower back, laser surgeries, and now finally the thoracic. And this gentleman had an injury to his thoracic spine. We were hoping that it didn't require surgery at first, and we always try to treat spine injuries that are not like life or nerve threatening or spinal cord threatening basically we try to treat them conservatively with some shots and therapy and time to get things to like kind of heal to give the body a chance to heal the human body can heal amazingly well however in some situations it can't and that's why it needs doctors to help out so in his case he had a thoracic disc herniation at t7-8 which we saw on the MRI, he would complain about pain right there, localized in his back, right to T7-8. And I knew there was a herniation there, but I was hoping it would kind of get better if we just did some shots and gave it some time, maybe did some therapy. But they didn't work, mm -hmm. no. And you continue to have a, a stabbing pain, a sharp stabbing pain um, with activities. You want to tell us a little bit about that pain? The, he, even the physical therapy, as, as light as it was to start out, was... Were, it was just made it worse. It went from a, a small blade to a large blade sticking me, feeling. Yeah, and with disc injuries that are causing pain, like spinal disc herniations, whether they're in the neck, the lower back, or the thoracic, one of the hallmark complaints of patients is that therapy makes the pain worse. It doesn't make it better. And it makes sense because therapy really works on reconditioning muscles and getting muscle pain better and also helping uh, what are called uh, diarthrodial joints, which is your typical joints in your spine and your body, where you have cartilage surfaces. But the disc is not a diarthrodial joint. It's a very special kind of joint. It's the only one of a kind. Uh, and so, yeah, it's not surprising that therapy made the pain worse. So you try the conservative treatment, didn't work. Um, he asked me about laser surgery for his thoracic disc herniation. This was, what, a year ago? Uh, for the thoracic was two and a half years ago. Two and a half years ago when I told him I don't do laser surgery on thoracic discs. I never had done one. I thought it was very risky, which it is, and it still is. Um, but we did it uh, because in two, two years he couldn't get any relief. And basically he said, once you start doing it, count me in, right? Mm -hmm. That was it, basically. And so we did... I did my first patient about, what, eight months ago or so, mm -hmm. I don't know the exact time, but we've done five patients with thoracic disc herniations, he's number six, that makes him very special. The thoracic disc herniations are really hard to get to, and when I was a neurosurgery resident and when I did my most of my thoracic cases, we would literally have to take the patient's rib out, uh, cut the rib head out, and move all the muscles off the spine and come in from the side. And, you know, these patients would be in the intensive care unit. You did have fusions, like multiple levels with screws and rods. And they would literally have probably be about a 15 to 20% chance of not, not even surviving the surgery. So a lot of doctors won't treat thoracic disc herniations that are symptomatic because the risk is so high. And they basically want the patient's paralyzed, not able to move their legs because of spinal cord compression from a huge herniation before they'll do surgery. Nobody will operate on a patient with just back pain, uh, and they'll just be condemned to live with that the rest of their life. Could you see yourself living with that thoracic pain the rest of your life? I couldn't do anything. I, the only way I'd get relief is to sit in a recliner. Mm -hmm. If I was up to cook or to wash dishes or something, 15 minutes and I gotta go sit. I mean, sitting in a chair like I am right now, I couldn't do it more than a half hour before the pain was just debilitating. Yeah. So. I mean, you've seen it before. I had, you had uh, patients, emergencies and stuff, and I was waiting, and and it just got terrible. Yeah. And uh, common story, uh, it gets worse when the patients are out of bed. They're sitting up because the weight of their body is pushing down on the disc, and it's pushing that herniation back just a little bit further, irritating the nerves that are in that annulus in the annular tear. So the Duke Laser Disc Repair is a unique surgery. And I developed it, uh, we published it back in 2012 in PubMed, National Library of Medicine. And basically the, the heart of the surgery is very unique, it's never been done before in the world. It's, we target the tear in the back of the disc, and that tear is called the annular tear. 
and it becomes very painful in certain patients because of the ingrowth of little nerve fibers into the back of the disc. Basically it's an inflammatory process, it's inflammation in the back of the disc. And I go in there with the laser and zap that away. So you had your surgery done, it took us about an hour to do the surgery. You were awake for the first part and then we put you to sleep. And then woke me back up. And then woke you back up and your incision on your back is four millimeters. And uh, would you say the surgery worked? Yes, 100%. That pain's gone? Pain's gone, Yeah. no pain. Yeah, we gave him a muscle pain right now, which is tender because I cut him and I stuck the tube down in there. If you, for those of you who watched the surgery, but his pain is gone and it won't come back. As long as he, you know, doesn't have another traumatic injury to the disc, he lets it heal. It takes a year to fully heal the disc because it's such an avascular structure. It doesn't get much blood supply. You need blood supply for things to heal. The more blood supply you get, the faster a tissue heals. So, uh, unfortunately, the disc gets very little blood supply, it heals very slowly, but it will heal. And as long as you don't lift anything heavy or, you know, get into another accident where you're traumatizing the disc, it, it should heal perfect and there won't be any more pain. Anything else you want to say to the audience before we wrap this up? Mm. If, if you have pain, this is a place to come. They can fix it. Thank you. All right. Well, get out of here and, and go enjoy life. Thank All you. All right.